Welcome back. Hope this uh, Wednesday treating you well. We have Neil Denton here to answer some of your lawn care questions. Your lawn care questions. The first one coming to us from Miss Cindy. Now she wants to know if carpenter bees pollinate plants because she puts some plants out to attract pollinators and all I'm attracting are carpenter bees. Yes, they're excellent. They're excellent pollinators. Uh, people don't realize, but they're very useful for particularly vegetable gardens. They do a great job pollinating those type of crops. Okay, all right. Just not good for your wooden fence. Not good for your, <laughs> or wood, your deck. Or, or your the wooden deck. deck. Uh -huh. That's right. Okay, let's go to Kim. Are red maple leaves toxic to goats? I have several of them in the goat pasture and I've been throwing limbs into the pen for all the goats to eat. Are they fine to do? Well, uh, red maple leaves are extremely toxic to horses and can be toxic to cattle. Uh, I don't think they're necessarily toxic to goats, but you should never throw any type of plant into animals because some of them can be quite toxic. Mm. And particularly if they're not used to eating green and foraging for things, they'll look at that as like candy and if they eat enough of it, mm. some of the plants it doesn't take much to make them really sick and could kill them. Especially if you live in a subdivision, you have a cattle pasture next to you, yeah. never trim any of your shrubs and throw them across the fence because a lot of them are very toxic wow. to animals. Good information. Yeah, all right, our last question is from Scott. Um, is creeping red fescue a good choice for a lawn grass in Knoxville? Good question, Scott. Yes, huh? well, creeping red fescue is one of the finer fescues and it does have a pattern to where it kind of spreads out a little bit more than regular fescues. It tends to like shade a little bit better than our other fescues, but it is weak in a drought situation. So you need to be sure you've got good irrigation to keep it going. Otherwise it can work quite well. All right, thank you, Neil. If you have a question for Neil, email us at WBIR.com and or email live at five at WBIR.com. Put on the subject line, ask Neil and wait a few days for a response. All right.